A reading from the first book of the Maccabees. The officers of the king in charge of enforcing the apostasy came to the city of Modain to organize the sacrifices. Many of Israel joined them, but Mattathias and his sons gathered in a group apart. Then the officers of the king addressed Mattathias. You are a leader, an honorable and great man in this city, supported by sons and kin. Come now, be the first to obey the king's command, as all the Gentiles and the men of Judah and those who are left in Jerusalem have done. Then you and your sons shall be numbered among the king's friends and shall be enriched with silver and gold and many gifts. But Mattathias answered in a loud voice, Although all the Gentiles in the king's realm obey him, so that each forsakes the religion of his fathers and consents to the king's orders, yet I and my sons and my kin will keep to the covenant of our fathers. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the commandments. We will not obey the words of the king, nor depart from our religion in the slightest degree." As he finished saying these words, a certain Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice on the altar in Modain, according to the king's order. When Mattathias saw him, he was filled with zeal. His heart was moved, and his just fury was aroused. He sprang forward and killed him upon the altar. At the same time, he also killed the messenger of the king who was forcing them to sacrifice, and he tore down the altar. Thus he showed his zeal for the law, just as Phineas did with Zimri son of Salu. Then Mattathias went through the city shouting, Let everyone who is zealous for the law and who stands by the covenant follow after me. Thereupon he fled to the mountains with his sons, leaving behind in the city all their possessions. Many who sought to live according to righteousness and religious custom went out into the desert to settle there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.